Hey guys, Dan Vega here, and today I want to talk about batch processing in Photoshop. More specifically, I want to talk about resizing a bunch of images in Photoshop. So I just got back from a vacation down to Miami, to South Beach, and I have a bunch of images, and if we open up uh, Finder here, you see I have a bunch of images in this Miami South Beach folder, uh, 32 of them to be exact. And I want to resize these for the web. Maybe I want to put these on Facebook, share them on Instagram, or even on my own website. And some of these default images that come out of the camera, um, I shoot very large raw JPEGs. So you can see the size of this is 5472 by 3648. And that's just entirely too big to share either on Facebook or on my website, it's just going to slow it down and quite honestly you don't need that big of a file to share on the web. So what I want to do is open up an image, resize it to be smaller. I don't need it to be a specific size, I just want it smaller. And I don't want to do this for 32 different images. This would take a long time and I just really don't want to do that. Luckily Photoshop gives us a way to do this. So let's go ahead and open Photoshop. And if we go to File, Scripts, and Image Processor, there is a way to process a bunch of images, in this case from a specific folder. So what I'm going to do here is select the folder that I want to uh, process images from. So in this case, it's going to be the Miami South Beach folder. Just click Open. And then <clears throat> I can say I want to save them in a specific folder. So maybe I had, um, a, a, I had a blog folder here that I want to process them to. If not, I'm actually going to move this back and just say save in the same location. It's actually going to drop them right into a JPEG folder because we are saving them as type JPEG. So I want to save as JPEG. I'm going to keep the quality at 10. I still want a high quality image here. And I'm just going to resize to fit a, a certain width and height. So this is not going to change your aspect ratio of your image. It's just it's, it's going to try and fit it within those bounds. Um, I'm just using 1200 by 1200. You can use you know 1400 by 1400 if you want. Um, just pick a size that works for you. This this works for me. So again, it's not going to change it to 1200 to 1200. It's just going to try and fit the image within those bounds. You can also run a specific action if you wanted to do something to that image after it was resized, but I'm not going to. So in this case, again, I have 32 images. It's going to take a, a, probably a minute or two to run. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and I'll speed it up. All right, so that's it. So Photoshop opened up every single image and resized it to fit in with it within those bounds and then saved it off to where we told it to. So that saved us a lot of time. If we go ahead and minimize Photoshop here and jump back to our folder, you'll now see a JPEG folder. And if we go inside of there, you'll see all of our resized images. And if we just go ahead and click on one, you can see that the max width for this is 1200 and the height is 800 so it still kept the aspect ratio but just resized it down for us so that we can go ahead and throw these on the web some more. So that is batch processing in Photoshop, a, a really easy way to resize a bunch of images. I uh, hope this tutorial helped. If it did, please let me know down below. Give me some likes, give me a thumbs up there. And if you have any questions about this, also please let me know. And I hope you subscribe to the channel and let me know what else you'd like to see. Thanks and have a good one.